Minister of Works, Engineer David Mwahi, has set up a review committee tasked with recommending compensation strategies for properties affected by the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway project. The minister who disclosed this during a media briefing in his office said the move aligns with President Bola Tinibu's agenda for national development, emphasizing transparency in the process. Let's now join our correspondent Naomi Oleribe for more details. Minister of Works, Engineer David Omahe, outlined the significance of the 700-kilometer lagos Calabar Coastal Road project aimed at connecting urban centers along the route. He said the committee will engage with property owners impacted by the construction, ensuring fair compensation based on approved documentation and federal government rates. And the works to, uh, to be reviewed by this committee is very simple. And it's just to um, interact with the property owners that are going to be affected. And then, you know, in their presence, in the presence of the committee and the SIA and the contractor, look at the compensation as enumerated to be paid. And where possible, you visit the site. And the moment the, we are using the federal rates, you know, to do our enumeration. Engineer Mai clarified that some properties along the coastal line will require a presidential waiver for compensation with specific areas subject to federal government approval. He stressed that shanty owners would not receive compensation under the scheme. So it's up to Mr. President to qualify such people. I will work within the limit of my, you know, out of office and that by respecting the constitution uh, but the president is the president of all so he will take that decision not me and th but if you have a title within the right of all the federal government you'll be qualified for you know this and if you also have a title if uh, you know right of way is going outside our own uh, you know uh, uh, entitlement of 250 from the coastline then that is Lagos state government and they're working with us the committee, composed of representatives from the Lagos state government, traditional rulers and property owners, has been given a 10-day time frame to complete its tax effective immediately. Compensation procedures will follow the EPC plus F model encompassing engineering, procurement, construction and finance, with the contractor providing funds and the government offering counterpart funding. Naomi Oleribe, ADBN News.